In this experiment, we want to prepare a bulk catalyst by co-precipitation method. In particular, we'll prepare a nickel-aluminium-based catalyst. For this purpose, we weight as precursor salts, nickel nitrate as hydrate, and aluminium nitrate non hydrate that are soluble in water. The salts are dissolved in 50 ml of water. More in detail, they are dissolved in a minimum amount of water And then the final volume of 50 ml is reached. In a becker, a large amount of distilled water, more or less 150 ml, is put under vigorous stirring. The graduate burette is filled with the solution. The precipitating agent is constituted by a mixture one-to-one -one of one molar sodium hydroxide and one molar ammonium carbonate. The co-precipitation is carried out at room temperature by dropping the salt solution into the solvent and simultaneously dropping the precipitating agent. The dropping of the latter is regulated by the pH that must be maintained constant at 9. When all the salt solution has been added, the system is left under steering overnight to complete the precipitation process. This step is called maturation time. After that, 
the separation of the solid precipitate from the mother solution is carried out. In this case, due to the presence of a very small particle, an under pressure filtration is performed. For this reason, a polymeric membrane with the opening of appropriate size is used. After filling the filter with the salt solution, a hydrogen pressure is applied. The mother solution passes through the filter, while the solid precipitate forms a cake on the filter. It is important to measure the pH of the mother solution It will be basic since the precipitating agent was a base The next step is washing in order to completely remove the mother solution from the pore of solid. The precipitate is dissolved in water, mix and filter it again. This operation 
is repeated until the filtered solution reaches neutral pH. The following step is drying. The solid has been put in an oven at low temperature, like 80 degrees for one night. In this way, all the solvent evaporates from the solid. Finally, the calcination at high temperature, near 500 degrees C, has been performed to obtain the final catalyst. As you can see, the wet solid precipitate is blue, while the calcine catalyst is dark. What's happened to the solid?